Tesla has just published its final quarterly earnings report for 2018, recording a profit for the first time in two successive quarters, and last week applied for a new battery cell patent for a two-additive electrolyte lithium nickel manganese cobalt chemistry that would lead to batteries that were capable of charging and discharging far more quickly, have a lower cost and a longer life. This all comes on the back of the news that Tesla's Gigafactory in Reno, Nevada has already produced a half billion cells, as well as Tesla signing a preliminary agreement with a Chinese battery manufacturer to have it supply cells to Tesla for its Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai. In short, Tesla seems well ahead of the game and the competition when it comes to lithium-ion battery cell production, design and procurement. But on Monday this week, Tesla announced a stock swap acquisition of Maxell Technologies, a San Diego, California company that specializes in ultra capacitors and battery component manufacturing. The deal is estimated to be worth around 218 million US dollars. And this is the fifth company that Tesla has acquired in recent years. If Tesla is so far ahead of the game on electric car battery packs, some might ask, What's the purpose of buying a company focused on ultracapacitors? And what's an ultracapacitor anyway? I'm glad you asked because while I don't have an official statement from Tesla on the matter, I can give you some pretty good guesses on the acquisition and explain what an ultracapacitor is. So let's first remind ourselves of what an ultracapacitor, sometimes called supercapacitor, is. An ultracapacitor is an electronic component that stores electrical energy as an electrical field or charge rather than storing it electrochemically as a traditional battery pack does. They operate on the same basic principle as standard capacitors, which you'll find in everything from TVs to cell phones and computers. But because they're built in a different way to standard capacitors, um, not going to go into the details of it in this video, they can store a whole lot more energy. Just like capacitors, ultracapacitors are able to charge and discharge really quickly, making them ideal for capturing or delivering large amounts of energy over a short period of time. What they aren't so good at, though, is storing energy for long periods of time, as they have a much higher self-discharge rate when compared to a lithium-ion battery. Self-discharge, for those who are interested, is a term given to the slow loss of charge over time, even if the energy storage device isn't part of an active electrical circuit. That, plus cost, has been one of the reasons why ultracapacitors haven't really been used in electric vehicles all that much. But as nanotechnology has improved and plenty of research has been done to tackle self-discharge, ultracapacitor design has moved on in leaps and bounds. Tesla usually acquires companies it sees an inherent value in, so it's likely that Tesla either wants to use Maxwell's new solid-state technology in future battery packs, because Maxwell also manufactures battery components as well as ultracapacitors, or Tesla is considering using ultracapacitors alongside lithium-ion batteries in future vehicles. This could, of course, improve energy density and longevity of Tesla battery packs, but it could also allow Tesla to use ultracapacitors as a storage buffer when charging, enabling some truly mind-blowingly fast charge times. Second, it could allow Tesla to develop even more powerful vehicles. But obviously, Tesla's high-performance cars are already the fastest things out there, so developing more power to accelerate customer cars seems a little pointless. But in the world of Tesla trucking, the Tesla Semi, where large amounts of power are required, whatever the situation, a little extra push from an ultracapacitor could help ensure battery longevity and improve overall range and duty cycles. But there are two other really important facts that you may not know that do require mentioning here. First, Tesla CEO Elon Musk knows ultracapacitors. In fact, he went to university to study them until he dropped out of school to build Zip2 and then X.com, which then merged with Confinity to form PayPal. Back at the 2012 Model S launch event, I remember asking Musk about ultracapacitors and frankly, his eyes twinkled with nerdy excitement as he explained in depth why ultracapacitors weren't ready at that time for mass market. In other words, while Musk may have not got that degree, he still knows the tech pretty darned well, and if he's had a part to play in the acquisition, 
which he probably has, it's because he now either sees a value in ultra capacitors or Maxwell's production technology. That final thing? Well, Maxwell's new solid state battery tech doesn't require the use of cobalt, a metal which Tesla is desperately trying to cut out of its batteries altogether due to the price rise in raw cobalt of late and big ethical concerns over the way some unscrupulous mine operators employ children in their mines and regularly ignore human rights. So there you have it. Tesla's now about to get into ultra capacitors, and that could make for some very interesting future products from Tesla indeed. That's it. Thanks for joining me and see you next time.